Jay Armstrong Johnson has gone from on the town to on the tube, starring in the ABC smash Quantico. He's also prepping his debut cabaret act at Feinstein's 54 Below. We're here at the R Lounge at the Renaissance Times Square to catch up. What's up, Jay? What's up, Paul? How you doing? Look, we're in Times Square. Hey, this is... You're feels... back on Broadway. Yeah, what but do you not. know? But you're on TV. <laughs> you're on TV, you're a TV star. <laughs> yeah, It's like, man. you know, somebody, you don't see someone for a few months and suddenly you're a TV star. Hey, it's kind of how it happened for me, too. It, was, uh, it blew me away when it happened. I didn't... I wasn't ready. You're on the huge ABC hit, Quantico. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> yeah, it's my first TV show. Uh, I, I've never done something like this. I'm learning a lot. Yeah. You know, mixing and mingling with some LA actors, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great show. You know, I, f I feel really sexy with, with toting a gun and being all <laughs> Aspergery. <laughs> Aspergery. Yes. Yeah, so you play what's his name? Will. He's a Dr. Will Olson. He's he's a nerd. Yeah, he's, he, he's a pretty big nerd. A, literally a rocket scientist. Yeah, he's literally a rocket scientist. He's and he's young to be yeah. a rocket scientist. Yeah, so he's like 24, 25. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. That's, so so are you like super smart on the show? Yeah, I'm, I'm like the guy that they give all the like jargon to. Like yeah. I know all the facts. I'm like. <laughs> memory ridiculous mind stuff so how did this happen when did when did when did you when did all this happen tell me about how, the, how um, this went down like uh, toward the end of the run of on the town um i got called in for a different role on quantico um mm. and i got down to the very last and i didn't quite get it they went a little older with it okay and then a new role came back around for after the mid-season break and they called me in for that role and i went in once put myself on tape once i guess i'm really good at being on the spectrum of autism because i just had one audition and i got it josh saffron our showrunner yeah. and creator um, is a big broadway fan oh, so wow. he told me that he's seen a lot of my work over the years so um who knew Broadway would get me uh, on the silver screen? Well, this is what I love about like the world we live in now. I, you know, because I feel like Hollywood and TV people, especially, are really paying attention yeah. to Broadway talent. So awesome! It is very cool. I feel yeah. like people are um, looking for like raw talent, like the ones that are mm. like going after it. And that's what that's what New Yorkers, that's what theater that actors you? do. <gasps> yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a hard it's hard out there for a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> to quote an Oscar winning song. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, you are putting together uh, a cabaret act. You're going to be at 50 Feinstein's, Feinstein's slash 54 Below. Yeah. April 27th, 29th, and 30th. Right. It's kind of what I've been doing most of my free time when I'm okay. not actually on set. Right. I've been like, you know, emailing and music director this. And you're not and singing and dancing that. on Quantico, by the way. This is not, no, you know, that's the other nice thing about not. these TV jobs. It's not like they're hiring you guys. It's not like Smash where they're like, well, we need dancers, so let's look at Broadway. Right. You know what I mean? Like, no, I have to memorize maybe four lines at a time, and like, that's it. Like, I walk on, <laughs> I say my four lines five times in a row, and then they're like, great, next. You know, it's like, <laughs> It's and then actually, you go back and write your cabaret out. Exactly. So, so tell me about it. What are we, what are we going to get to see? Um, it's, a, it's a show I've been working on for about three years now. Okay. I've been wanting to do this kind of show for a while. Um, it's uh, back in the day, um, Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit was one of my favorite movies. Of and, course, um, naturally. Duh. And Whoopi Goldberg, Dolores Van Cartier, um, <laughs> gives a monologue to her class, her music class, about uh, the word eclectic and how it relates to music and how she loves eclectic okay. music. And she loves rock and roll and rap and jazz and pop. And um, that's how she lives her musical life. And so as a young six, seven year old watching that movie, I was like, well, that's how I want to live my life as well. Like <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg, she's an Oscar winner. Um, <laughs> so that's my show. Um, I want to just kind of run the gamut of musical styles yeah. and forms. This cabaret act's going to be fun. Yeah. What, what was seven. like the one song you said, I have to do that song? Like if I'm doing a concert, I have to do that song. The classic rock song. Um, mm. like a, it's like an homage to my dad. Like my dad's such a classic rock. Like, mm -hmm aficionado so I asked him to send me a list of his five favorite classic rock songs oh, wow. a few months back and um, thank God my favorite of like the ones that I grew up listening to as a kid was in that list so um, I'm gonna do a little a uh, Toto tune from Toto my yeah what song um, come on it's gonna be a surprise but like whatever dad's probably not gonna watch this um, Rosanna Nice. You know it? That's, yeah, of I course. Mean, just like How do I? Ripping guitar me? solos. Yeah. Just like synth yeah, realness. Yeah, yeah, that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you have guest stars. Yeah. So who's, who's going to be there? <sighs> My good friend Lindsay Mendez, Broadway's ah. Lindsay Mendez, the green lady herself. Yeah. Um, she'll be joining me for a Jeff Blumenkrantz arranged Charles Strauss song. <laughs> so we're doing oh. um, um, I Don't Need Anything But You, a really fun, jazzy. From Annie. Yeah. Um, if you. Ever heard Alicia Umfress and Jeff Blumenkrantz's album, right. I've yeah. been played. It's that same arrangement. I oh, love okay. it so much. And cool. um, 
Ali uh, not Alicia, but uh, Lindsay will be joining me for that tune. Cause she's she's so your, your, your daddy Warbucks to her Annie. Oh, hell yeah. It's going to be <laughs> real weird. Just a twink Warbucks and a Mexican Annie. It's going to go so well. Um, <laughs> you know, twink Warbucks might be the way to give a boost to that show. It's, I don't know. That might be the next. Right? That might be the next. <laughs> Billy Lewis Jr. from Glee. He was okay. on the last season of Glee. He's become one of my best friends. He's my boyfriend's best friend from home. And um, he's joining me for the hair infused number. Okay. Because he did the national tour of hair in my same track I did on Broadway. So we have that like oh, cool. connection. Okay. Um, which is fun. And then Todrick Hall, MTV's formerly Broadway's formerly yeah, look YouTube at that guy. sensation. He's blown up. Yeah. I've known that kid since I was about 15. Really? We did Mary Kay Cosmetics Industrials together in <laughs> Dallas when I was 15 and 16 years old. <laughs> you were that kid. I was that kid. <laughs> Although I was making money as a 15 year old. I bought my first car with that money. <laughs> So it's been so fun watching his star literally explode. I mean, literally, like, yeah. Lit I mean, he was Forbes 30 under 30 last year. He's got like two TV shows. I think he's guest. He's a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race this, this week, which that's, just that's makes the, that's the most exciting thing you just I, said. I got chills all over my body as I said it because it's my dream. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Wait, what? most important part, we're doing a live album of the concert. What? Yeah. That's awesome. The, um, Broadway Records? Broadway Records. Yeah. Van Dean is helping me out at Broadway Records. Um, and yeah, we're recording all three nights. Um, we have an Indiegogo campaign right now trying to raise the funds. Okay. I've got an eight piece band. I've got three backup singers. I've got three or four guest artists. Wow. So it's a huge night and, it, and it's $30,000 to pull something off like that in terms of a live um, album. Contribute, if you will. Okay, Jay, thank you so much. <laughs> no, it's so good to you. see you. You too, Paul. I'm so thrilled to see you on my TV. Thanks, man. It's awesome. It's pretty fun. And uh, find Science Fit for Below. I'm going to say it again, yep. April. 27th, 29th, 30th. and 30th. And Quantico is on Sunday nights at 10 o'clock, 10, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. ABC. ABC. Look at you. High yeah, five. Yeah. Good to see you, man. You too, Thanks. Dude. Thanks.